the moon, Earth's little sibling. Oh, looks like it's in a mood. And like any moody little brother, the moon goes through phases. Like a teenager trying to fit in, the moon will change its look a lot. Sometimes it looks like this, and other times it looks like this. But sporting a new outfit doesn't change the fact that you're still you. And the same goes for the moon. Let's explore this in more detail. If we were to leave Earth, we'd see that the moon is almost always being bathed in sunlight, with one half of it in light and the other half in darkness, just like Earth. So why does it look different throughout the month? Glad you asked. It all has to do with perspective. Let's look at the sun. Oh, ah, geez. Oh, that's better. Now, our fist is blocking the sun from our eyes. Right now, the half of our fist closest to us is dark, but we know that the other side is fully lit. If we moved our fist to the side of our head, we'd see this, half of the fist illuminated and the other half in shadow. Well, the same goes for the moon. Even though it's almost always being hit by the same amount of light, we can only see part of it because we're stuck down here on Earth. Gah, stupid Earth. Mountains. And since the moon is orbiting around us, our perspective of it changes. It is a misconception that the moon revolves around the Earth every day. It might appear this way because it rises and sets in the sky regularly. But this phenomenon is actually caused by the Earth's rotation. It takes about 29 days for the moon to revolve around the Earth, which, you might notice, is about the same length as a regular month. That's no coincidence. Early civilizations based their calendars on the cycle of the moon, a habit we picked up and maintained for the last few thousand years. Now, we all know that people have nicknames, and so does the moon. These names are called phases, and they work like this. The phase of the moon is determined by the size of the sun's light on its face, and whether that light is getting bigger or smaller. Let's start at the start. When the moon is between the sun and the earth, we call this the new moon. Then, the moon moves around the earth, and we begin to see a little bit of light growing across it. This is called a waxing crescent. Waxing means getting bigger, and when it comes to the moon, that means the moon is getting more and more illuminated. You can remember, wax on. We call it a crescent, well, because it, it looks like a crescent. You know, not everything has to be complicated, okay? Notice that the light enters from the right. Right gets the light. And as the light continues to grow, or wax on, we get to this point, where we see a perfect split of light and darkness. This is called the first quarter, because the moon is a quarter of the way through its orbit. Our light continues to grow, and now our crescent is gone. We call this a waxing gibbous. Remember, gibbous is giant, and waxing because the light is growing. And now, better stock up on silver bullets, because we finally reached the total illumination of a full moon. Then, something interesting happens. Between the new moon and the full moon, light increases. And now, from the full moon back to the new moon, light must decrease. We call this waning. Wax on, wane off. So our light wanes, but the portion of light is still a giant, a waning gibbous. Look side by side with the waxing gibbous. Remember, right gets the light. So this one with light entering is waxing. And this one is waning. Light leaves to the left. Next, we have an even split of light again. This time, we call it a third quarter, or a last quarter, because the moon only has one more quarter to go. And look, our dear friend the crescent. Oh, excuse me, the waning crescent. Then, after about 29 days of travel, the moon is back between the Earth and the sun, and ready to start a new cycle. This is the new moon. Now that we understand this guy a little better, he's not so strange, right? Sure, the moon goes through phases, we all do. But remember, the moon is almost always being illuminated by the sun, and its phases are simply a matter of perspective. It's always the same old moon. 4.5 billion years old, actually. But wait, what's all this nonsense about the dark side of the moon? Well, it's a great rock album, but it's not an accurate name. For that, check out the next video.